John Hackleshane for Boating New Zealand magazine. We're at lovely Waimarama Beach here in Hawke's Bay. We're going to be beach launching today. The boat is a Typhoon Senator 650. It's got a 400 horsepower inboard jet unit, single stage Hamilton jet. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. So the whole reason behind uh, Robert wanting a, a jet for this, this type of operation, they need to be able to drop this boat into the water and get away and, and through the surf pretty quickly. Now on a, on a much rougher day than we experienced today, they would uh, drop it in off the trailer uh, and then manually people standing in the water would spin the boat around so it's facing the right way. When they were ready to go, fire up the engine, jump in the boat and they're off through the surf. Now we were lucky enough to be able to push the boat straight off, spin it around, through the surf. With an outboard powered boat it's far more complicated. You've got a leg that you have sticking down you know into the water. It's very easy to bury the propeller when the bow of the boat goes over a wave, bury the propeller into the sand and you can you know install the boat or otherwise damage the, the, the propeller or the engine leg. That's not going to happen with a jet unit like this. It's really really uh, maneuverable and of course with 400 horsepower on tap you can get through the danger zone very very quickly. <laughs> So this boat is used both on the saltwater and on Lake Taupo. Um, the owner, Robert, is a, is a keen fisherman. He also likes to uh, drop some pots here in, in the bay, but um, he really enjoys trout fishing as well. So this boat is set up for both, quite unusual. Obviously the main engine, uh, the engine box takes up quite a lot of the cockpit as you'd expect, but in fact you've got really good room either side and uh, the transom is, is nicely positioned as well so you can stand here and fish if you want to. Uh, really got plenty of room. The little kicker motor on the back or the trolling motor, uh, rather clever. It's all rigged up with a separate set of remotes so that it can be uh, operated from inside the hardtop. It's also got an, elect an electric uh, steering system, something I've never seen before. It's a little remote control that he just has on a fob around his neck so he can steer the boat. Again, from the comfort of the hardtop um, trolling away on Lake Taupo on a winter's day, what could be nicer? So we're pretty well specced in this boat, we've got a, a lot of, uh, of electronic uh, aids as you'd expect. Um, zip wake automatic trim tabs, uh, it's a jet so you can't actually trim the drive but they've found that the zip wakes uh, allow them to control the trim very well. He's gone with a Hummingbird Solix 12, the reason for that specifically was because it interfaces with his Minn Kota trolling motor on the bow, it's a, it's a um, a 32 volt unit so it's the, it's the big one high thrust uh, motor that'll hold this vessel in place and he's already used it with success just to hold the boat while he's fishing in deep water but he'll also use it on Taupo. Um, something again I've not seen before very often uh, with, a, with jet boats you'll have two levers but they've integrated uh, not only the throttle but also the bucket control into one lever so it's just like driving an outboard in that sense except that the the trim button actually lowers and raises the bucket. Um, so you know where the bucket is, they've adapted a normal outboard trim gauge and uh, depending on where that little needle is that tells you whether the bucket is up or down. Obviously the bucket goes down when you're in reverse and it's up when you're going forward. Although this is a standard Senator 650 hull, 
uh, and the hardtop version, that's all pretty standard. There are an awful lot of custom features in this boat that, that Robert worked with the uh, guys at Senator Boats to, uh, to come up with. One of them is this, uh, this um, pot pulling mechanism here. It's really a, a clever bit of engineering. The beauty about this is that when you don't want it in the boat, you can simply remove it. It's got a, a plug-in system here. You know, when you want to pull cray pots, there it is. If you don't want it with you, if you're going trout fishing, for instance, you can leave it at home. Now, the rocket launcher is standard on a Senator boat, as it on, is on many boats, but this one, it's actually been turned into a spoiler. That is something that Robert saw somewhere and he quite liked. He talked to the guys at Senator and said, can you make me a spoiler for on top here? Looks quite smart, uh, just like the, the paint job on this boat looks smart as well but that's matched to his car. A feature on the hardtop that you don't often see is that it's covered with sea deck just like the floors are and, and like the um, like the engine boxes that's so that it's got a nice non-slip surface when he's out with his grandkids they can stand on the roof safe enough you can have people up there it will support their weight quite happily but the kids love to jump off the roof into the water while they're at the lake. Seating arrangement works very well. We've got a couple of uh, nicely upholstered swivel seats. These are made uh, by Senator themselves. They do them in-house. But it's the aft-facing seats which are quite, quite clever. They actually fold up off the floor, so this one is in the folded position to give you more room in the cockpit, whereas the other one is in the up position so that you can sit there facing aft, watch the lures, or just enjoy the sunshine. Robert likes to overnight on this boat, so that posed something of a problem. So what Senator have come up with is this uh, quite clever uh, bunk extension here which just is part of the bulkhead which folds down it's actually got the uh, footrest on it as well folds down out of the way but since he doesn't like to have the door closed when he's sleeping in the cabin they've also got a clever little sliding panel in the door as well so that the feet can stick out through here that's uh, that's something that I've never seen before quite a clever uh, innovation and that means that he can sleep here uh, full length, fly full length and get in and out of the door easily as he needs to. So there we have a, uh, a 6 litre uh, V8 petrol engine. It's a Chevrolet block but it's all been marinised. Uh, marine power marinisation. Um, 400 horsepower so plenty of power for a vessel of, of this length, 6.5 metres. I think this would happily uh, power a much larger boat. It's certainly got plenty of stonk. Two batteries, two engine batteries tucked in nicely behind the engine. Well protected, nice and dry. We've got a bilge pump on a float underneath the engine. And then we've got a couple in the corners, one in each corner as well, also on float switches. So as well as the two house batteries, we've got another three batteries for the Minn Kota because it's a, uh, a 36 volt system. Um, we've got two of them forward actually under your feet um, just in front of the driver and passenger and then we've got a third one uh, up forward. So we've got sea deck on the floor and also on the combings in this boat and there's a thinner sort of sea deck covering uh, on top of the engine box and as we've mentioned on the on the hardtop roof as well. Feels really good under the feet. Um, the nice thing about it is you can you can emboss it which they have done so you know we've not only got some uh, some measurements on there so you can measure your fish on the floor but they've also got the, the name of the boat Memories 2 that's been embossed into the into the sea deck. Um, something that I <laughs> I saw and, and quite like is this nice little custom step that Robert has had made that just raises him up enough when he's coming in close where he wants to be able to see over the over the front of the boat when he's coming in through this quite difficult uh, um, beach launching scenario where he's, where he's got to get in quite close to the reef etc. But a decent double berth forward uh, you could easily sleep two, pool, two people there um, somewhat unusually the the toilet is one that uh, Robert can drop in for when he needs it and that's what's actually sitting up in the in the bow area there there's a strap especially to hold it in place um, that means that when they're sleeping in the cabin uh, they don't have to sleep with the toilet because they pick it up and they bring it out into the cockpit when they're overnighting in the boat which is actually quite a good idea so although this is a, a big volume boat, and it is, it carries its beam quite well forward, it's, it's also quite a deep V forward, so that the entry is reasonably fine, and that gives a really nice, comfortable, soft ride. Uh, very dry as well, I noticed, but um, by the same token, you know, the V isn't so deep that, it, uh, that it's difficult to get onto the plane. It certainly gets up quickly. Uh, in terms of handling, well, this is a, a jet-powered boat, so the handling is quite different to what you'd expect from an outboard or, or even a stern drive. 
Uh, it's a whole lot of fun and it's quite obvious that Robert really enjoys throwing this boat around and you can. This will turn in its own length. Um, you can do jet boat turns as you would expect. Although it feels quite odd in a hard top boat to be doing that but it uh, does jet boat turns just like a small jet boat would do. Um, I was particularly uh, interested to see that you can turn it in its own length not only going forwards but with the engine in reverse as well or the bucket down. And one of the other things that Robert really likes about the jet unit is it allows him to get in quite close to shore. If he's diving for instance for power or something like that or his kids are diving, he can get the boat in much closer than people can get with a uh, with an outboard powered boat. You know even if the boat does bump the rocks and that does happen apparently, uh, he's in no danger of damaging um, his engine or his, his leg. And uh, look we demonstrated that today, we had a look at uh, some seals nice and close, we could get much closer than, than people would normally be able to get with an outboard powered boat, so that was very useful indeed. There we are back on the beach, uh, enjoyed a bit of a, a bit of a look like a look around Waimarama, really easy to get the boat back on the trailer, again these guys are really really practiced, came straight up on the beach, held the boat steady, they came down with the trailer, used the hydraulic winch to just winch the boat back up and we're out of the water in a matter of moments. Fantastic, exactly what this boat was built to do. John Ackleson from Boating New Zealand. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe to our channel.